The famous red pill or blue pill scene in The Matrix kinda zooms by in a flash, which is a deliberate decision by the Wachowskis, so that we, the audience, feel just as confused and scared as Neo does. But this video will explain in detail exactly what the red pill does, and how it relates to absolutely everything happening in this scene. To a new viewer, one of the most confusing parts of this scene is why they're seemingly trying to find Neo, because we can see that Neo is right there, they've already found him. So when they say trying to find Neo and locate him, what do they actually mean? Human bodies are actually located all in one place, in or near the machine city, which is called Zero One. The problem is that humans can't safely explore these power plants or anywhere near the surface of the Earth for fear of being found by sentinels or other robots, as is seen in the Animatrix story Matriculated. There is also a Matrix comic called A Sword of a Different Colour, about a human who has somehow managed to kidnap a sentinel, and even he was almost killed. So this means that whenever the Resistance wants to free a human mind, they need to quickly find the exact pod that this specific human is laying in, which would be incredibly difficult without help. This is what the red pill is for. It's the help. Okay, so now let's look in detail at what the red pill is actually doing in this scene. For that, we need to go through the list of characters and work out exactly who is doing what to help wake Neo up from the Matrix. Morpheus, obviously, he's overseeing the whole process. Trinity is checking on Neo's health. This is also evidenced on page 31 of the script, with the direction, Trinity monitors Neo's electrical vital signs. Apoc is locating Neo's real-world body from inside the Matrix. If we pause here, we see that one of Apoc's monitors shows a human avatar within a computer setting. This is because Apoc is using this model of Neo's body to find him within the Matrix. Tank is the hovercraft driver in the real world. His goal is to generate a signal specific to Neo's RSI and then fire it at Neo's pod to disconnect him from the Matrix. Switch, in my opinion, I'm not too sure about this, but it looks like she's at the kind of landline phone emulator device, the thing that Morpheus plugs that landline headset into. So my opinion is that Switch is kind of monitoring the whole process that turns Neo into digital data. And Cypher, he's simply floating around APOC, so it looks like he's just trying to help APOC. And Mouse, well, bloody hell, maybe he's with the woman in the red dress, who knows. <laughs> Okay, so let's put this all together to work out exactly how the red pill works. First, Neo swallows the red pill, and as Morpheus says, it disrupts Neo's input-output carrier signal so they can track him. So let's break that down. What that means is Neo's body is constantly broadcasting a signal to put him into the Matrix. The red pill messes with that signal. It messes with the connection from Neo's mind to the Matrix. In other words, it kind of severs Neo's grasp on reality. Neo and Morpheus walk into this room. The first thing that happens, Cypher hands Morpheus something. What could this be? It's a mobile phone. We see that later in this scene, Morpheus uses the phone to contact Tank in the real world. Morpheus also asks Apoc, are we online? If we look at the monitors that Apoc is sitting in front of right now, we see that a few of them are kind of moving, almost as if it's like a satellite image trying to navigate a map. In a way, this is kind of what's happening. Apoc is looking at his view of the Matrix world, like all the green code and stuff, to try to find Neo's real world pod. When Morpheus says, time is always against us, he's referring to the red pill, because the red pill has begun a countdown. As soon as Neo swallowed it, they had to go into the next room because the countdown had begun. Time is always against us? Yeah, that's right. Morpheus just gave Neo a deadline to wake up from reality, and it's only a minute or two. Next, Neo sits down and we see Trinity apply all these little pads to his body. This is so that she can monitor his general health. Cypher here looks through these goggle things, which again is just giving him a better view of the Matrix and the digital code. Morpheus takes this landline phone off the hook and connects it to some apparatus to allow Neo to shoot down the cable and out of the Matrix. Remember, this is how the Resistance travel in and out of the Matrix, by transforming into digital data and zooming through the cable. They call it an exit. This landline phone is Neo's first ever exit. Morpheus then presses a button and the phone starts to dial. From my understanding, this phone is now dialing not Tank, because they're not sending him directly to Tank, remember. This phone is dialing the machine mainframe, because that's what Neo is still connected to right now. Morpheus then says that the red pill is part of a trace program that disrupts Neo's input-output carrier signal. See, this is kind of the key about this whole scene. The red pill is designed to kind of mess with 
the machine's control over Neo. These resistance members are about to fire their own signal at Neo's pod so that he can zoom out of the Matrix. That's what the Red Pill does. We see this kind of thing in other items in the Matrix as well. Think back to the Matrix Reloaded, when the Merovingian creates that cake. He writes some cake within the Matrix using his own special code that gives this woman an orgasm. So therefore, we can conclude that people can swallow things, whether it's pills, cake, or cookies, which will have an effect on their psyche. Neo looks at the mirror, the broken mirror, and see it start to repair itself. This is only happening in Neo's mind. None of the other Resistance members see this. Look at Trinity's reaction. Trinity is not seeing the mirror melting. No one is. Only Neo. The reason Neo is seeing the mirror melting is because the red pill has started to disrupt the input-output carrier signal and sever his grip on reality. That's what the red pill's for. It's to make Neo's mind kind of forcibly wake up and say, okay, this is not real. So therefore, Neo is going to start seeing things unreal, like a mirror mending itself and turning into liquid. That's exactly why Morpheus says this line about a dream world and a real world. It's because he knows that Neo is now experiencing something unreal. The mirror is spreading across Neo's neck and chest because again, he's losing his grip on reality because of the red pill. Morpheus opens the phone, speaks to Tank and says, we're gonna need a signal soon. Here, he's referring to a signal that Tank is creating. There is a signal that the machines put in place so that Neo could enter the matrix with his mind from their pod. Tank is generating his own pirate signal that he's going to fire at Neo's pod so that they can find him and eject him. Trinity says, I've got a fibrillation. This means a kind of irregular heartbeat. So again, she's monitoring his health because Neo is losing his grip on reality. So, you know, he's pretty worried. Trinity says, he's going into arrest as in he's about to have a heart attack because obviously he thinks a mirror is about to suck up his own body. Apoch says, Lock, I got him. Morpheus says, Now tank now. In that moment, Tank, from the real world, from the hovercraft, fires the pirate signal that's specific to Neo's RSI at Neo's pod. That allows Neo to properly wake up safely. Without that, the red pill would simply sever Neo's grip on reality. He would just wake up and die straight away. However, that signal that Tank fired at the pod saved Neo's life. It means that he could wake up safely, and that is exactly how the red pill works. It starts a countdown that slowly severs the person's grip on reality so that the resistance can fire their own pirate signal at the pod once it's been found and located for the person to wake up and be ejected into the sewers and then picked up. Thank you for watching that everybody, if it was a help to you and you really liked learning about the Matrix lore then please subscribe to Jam Punch and I'll be releasing a brand new Matrix Explained video every single week. My name is George, this is Jam Punch and I'll see you next time.